hopes for the season with Newcastle? Uh, with Newcastle is just to win some silverware. Obviously nice to win the EDF Cup, the league, um, and the Europe, European competitions that we're involved in also. Then you play in the forwards, really. What have you taken away from today's event? Um, just the uh, enthusiasm of the kids for rugby. I think it's, it's fantastic and uh, it's brilliant, the EDF energy of kind of supporting this and, uh, and the wave of enthusiasm after the World Cup, but taking advantage of that. Are uh, you ready? I think there's just a lot of good young players in the Premiership. Uh, just a single one out, I suppose the only one I know very well is Toby Flood at Newcastle, who everyone would have seen during the World Cup. He's a, he's a very, very good player. <laughs> yeah, it's been good. It's been um, it's been good fun uh, throwing the, the ball around outside with the kids. Um, it's nice to see them with smiles on their faces and they're enjoying throwing the ball around. What would you sacrifice to win the next World Cup? <laughs> <laughs> um, a heck of a lot. Um, <coughs> sacrificed. Not so just in things like giving up certain time and. Um, I was going out when my friends went out, I kind of sacrificed that to make sure I was right for training and, uh, and fully fit to play and stuff. Uh, and I would do the same again, it's just made me that bit, uh, I suppose, more, more hungry to be, uh, to be involved next time. So uh, I think I have to perform for my, uh, for my club uh, to get picked, hopefully. I think it's just, uh, from a character point of view, I think sport's important in terms of building things like uh, leadership and, and communication um, and some social side, making, making loads of friends. It's obviously important for kids to be active and enjoying themselves. Why then do we hold the ball like this? Because if you hold it like that, like that. Over here, um, it will fall out of your hand and you won't have a steady track. Yeah. I think the sporting hero guy I watched a lot of was Brian O'Driscoll when I was younger. Um, he's still around now, so it's got to... Uh, wasn't too long ago, but probably someone like him that would be the moment. If you want to support, <laughs> if you want a sports star, what would you do? Um, I would. I think I would have gone to study medicine or veterinary science. Everything. Everything. Uh, I'm all right. I'm not very, I can't throw very well. How was the National TV Awards last night for Mark Blazer? <laughs> it was good fun. It was all a very uh, strange and surreal experience seeing all these famous people looking around. There was like a who, little, was uh, who was there? We were in the green room at the back. There was they, uh, Matt Lucas and David Williams, all the Top Gear guys, uh, Jack Osborne, Kelly Brook. Um, all very strange. I was like a, like a little kid in the corner pointing them all out. Why do you think it's so important that EDF Energy support the national schools rugby program in the way they do? I just think it's important that uh, sometimes members hasn't had as much funding. Uh, and it's brilliant that a company the side of e the size of e EDF Energy gets involved with it and, and gets kids involved in rugby. Uh, I think it's, it's just important to, to be active and, and uh, enjoy, enjoying the game and hopefully that will build a, um, certainly bring more players for the future and obviously the biggest support for England. Yes, I really enjoyed having Matthew Tate in my school today. It really inspired me to play rugby more. I liked when people asked the question and he answered them. I feel very privileged to be invited. It's, um, it's nice for you to, to welcome me in here and allow me to answer your questions and, and talk to you and hopefully be able to throw a rugby ball around with you later on and do a bit of coaching. And why is rugby such a good sport to play? Because it, it get, gets your brain ticking and it's really energetic. And you're going to be playing rugby again in the future? Yeah.